Scientology. You were in the Church of Scientology. What? What? <gasps> what? What was that? About? I did because I read about that and I was so curious. When did you join Scientology? Oh golly, back in 1970. As soon as I, I, I was one year into graduate school, and uh, I was studying acting, and I wasn't satisfied. I, I, it was the 60s, you know, the end of the 60s, and. We all wanted to change the world, and I knew I could act, but I didn't know to what end. And Scientology answered a lot of questions for me. I'm writing a memoir now, and it, it goes into great detail in there, but bring it all down to why did I join Scientology, is they claim that you're not a body, you're not your mind, you're an immortal being. Uh, and as an immortal being, you have no gender. And I thought, fuck, that makes sense. That makes a great deal of sense. Um, unfortunately, their founder, L. Ron Hubbard, uh, was born the same year as my father and Ronald Reagan. And they were all as homophobic as one another. And for the canon of the Church of Scientology is homophobic and transphobic. Mm. So what happened? I left. I've been excommunicated. I am an apostate now. Mm -hmm. what, what was that process? Did you just stop going or what was the... Oh, did they no, know I... that you were uh, trans? Yeah, well, yes and no. Uh, I'd received a great deal of spiritual counseling. I'm going to use the kind words. Uh, spiritual counseling on the subject of, Jesus, I really didn't want to be a freak. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I was and I didn't want to be. And um, I tried every which way but loose to, to be a real man. You know, man up. You know, and, and none of it worked. Um, I was a member of what they call the C organization. This is their top management uh, group. Their, their shock troops, if you will. Uh, I was I worked with L. Ron Hubbard directly uh, on a ship. Really? I was first mate on his fucking ship. Oh my. I know, right? Yeah. Right? What a wrong choice. Or yeah, <laughs> you know, a right one, I don't know. Nah, <laughs> nah. What was he like? Daddy. Right. In a word. And so you... What was your relationship? So it was a dad, like, your relationship was... You know what I mean when I'm saying daddy. Uh, we have the same notion within the queer, LGBTQ, etc. world. Uh, ooh, daddy. Uh, oh. You know, and who's your daddy? Um, he, was a, he was a guru. He was a magnetic guy. Um, he was pompous, arrogant, and mean. But you, f you didn't pay attention to that. And you did whatever he said. Mm. Whatever he said. So was it a, 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 I'll finish now, but I'm just curious about, about the departure. What was the, so you said, I'm getting the hell out of here? What did you say? And how was it received? That, I swear to God, would take 15 minutes to tell the story. Right. Let's just say I left. Uh, the big problem with leaving was I was married with a daughter at the time, and once you leave the Church of Scientology, uh, no one who's a Scientologist in good standing uh, is allowed to talk with you. Um, I haven't talked with my daughter since she was nine, and she's 37 now. Oh. Yeah, right? So this memoir that I'm writing, don't ever write don't ever write a memoir. No, no, bad. Yee, ow. Better remember all the bad stuff. But I'm writing it for my daughter in case she ever wants to find out what happened to dad. Oh. Thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. That must be heartbreaking. It is.